All right, to get back into our equations, um, I'm going to right click, manage equations. Now let's skip down to <clears throat> the equations. We'll get back to features in a second. All right, under the equations, like I said, we're talking about the equations now. Um, this is where we can actually define um, equations for our dimensions. We can either link our dimensions to global variables or create your functions of other dimensions within it. So uh, the way you start at add the equation, go and select a dimension. Now, <clears throat> when I'm in the value equation row, I can go back to global variables, you know, functions, our properties are measured. Here, I want to actually create a equation that uses uh, or defines um, the value of the length at sketch one, which is 200 as length. So if I select the global variable, which is denoted by here, the globe. Now, our, if I hit the tab button, the value is 200 it equals length. So now this is technically an equation equals my global variable of length, which equals 200. So now if I change the global variable up here, 200, to anything else, 150, 300, whatever value, it'll automatically change the sketch. Now if you look at the dimension on the part, it has a little summation, which means now it is a function. So let's do the width. I'm going to make this a, another global variable, width. So they're controlled up here. And of course, as remember, the global variable width is actually controlled by the length, 50 less than the length. Hit tab, 200. So we can actually you know, add comments, length like apart, like we did up above. This is the width of the part. So <clears throat> let me do how about the whole diameter? I think previously, what did I do? Width divided by six. Um, let's do this as a function. And it's like that diameter. So let me see, global variable, I'm gonna make it width, but divided by three. If I want it to be 50, tab. Now, notice how it became a function. Like I said, I'm just doing this to show you that you can, um, you know, the functions are basically functions. You know, you can create e equals, you can um, create your own equation, or you can select a different uh, uh, dimension and subtract it or add to another dimension or divide it, whatever, whatever you need to. So here's the, oh, once again, hold the hammer. And then the last one, let me just add one more. Whole variable, um, which one I this would be? Uh, length divided by five. So 200 divided by five equals 50. And actually when you do it, it gives you the value already. Hit tab, or I mean 40. So center. So, now if you look, all of our uh, equations define the shape we made as functions. So, if you notice, each of these have a little function symbol. <laughs> Didn't see it there. Function symbols, which uh, shows that it is, um, the equations are of a function. So, I'm going to hit out, hit OK. All of our dimensions are functions of the equation. <clears throat> and when you double click on it, it shows you what the equation is. Name, equation. So that is equations. And this is actually useful for uh, when you're taking the uh, Certified SolidWorks Associates exam. Um, they'll probably give you a part and they'll have a, you know, a little chart. They'll have a few of the dimensions um, that they want to be variables, like be like length or width or um, height or something like that, or a whole location. And if you set up a, you know, go to your equations, manage equations, and you set up 
your uh, gold variables. It says those um, variables that they want, length, width, and then define it and define the same things. Uh, it's probably ask for some uh, mass properties. Uh, once you create it, they'll say, hey, length of 200 and the width of, you know, let's say 50 or whatever, whatever it is. And then you do a mass properties and then, okay, okay, what happens if you change the length to, you know, X and the width to Y with new mass properties? It's easy if you have this set up to come in and just change your global variables real quick, hit OK, and then go for your um, evaluate, like your mass properties. So, uh, and of course, you'll have to actually have uh, material properties, which I don't specify in this. But that's how this will be very useful when you are taking your uh, certified you know, SolidWorks Associates exam.